have is this. Let's go on the drink for then. Oh, big. Oh, yeah. Right. Look, you want to sit on it? You sit on the couch. No, nice cow. What are you going to name him? Hello. She's scared of it. Get used to it. I still have to do the G O A T S. Sarah. Oh, nice spit up. Aww. <laughs> hi, Nog. Say hi. Oh, just a receipt. Say welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back. Dada is um, taking care of the trash, honey. This is difficult to do with one hand. Ooh, there we go. Come, come. We'll see Con later. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Long time no see, but I am back. Um, I am very excited because I have ideas for videos. Well tentatively working on some ideas for videos um, after a much needed break with like maternity and going back to work and adjusting to having two kids it's been quite the adjustment that's an understatement but it's been fun it's been fun so it's always going to be a nighttime routine um, as a family of four I'm gonna show you guys what we do, how we divvy up. I feel like we have a good rhythm and a routine between Josh and I with the girls. I will always, uh, I will focus on Sarah just because she nurses still. So I'm the one that puts her to bed and then Josh is the one who puts Eleanor to bed. But we'll show you guys that. It is quarter to five now and Sarah's bedtime is like 5, 5.30. I usually start getting her ready for bed at 5. And she will be four months old on the 29th. Yeah. Yeah, she was a little cranky in the car on the ride home. Because you're tired. You yeah. know. And you just want a mama. And Eleanor got a belated birthday gift uh, from my aunt and uncle, which is the cow that you saw. And she's trying to close it now. Did you have coffee? No, I didn't get it yet. It's still in the car. Um, so we're not forcing it on her. She's just kind of like going there at her own pace and she was playing with it. Like we have a good routine. We finally feel like we have a good rhythm going with the girls. Not at bedtime. With bedtime. Not when she's sleeping. No, not when she's sleeping. Oh. Eleanor's going through her two, I almost said two month, two year sleep regression, which hard. Did not know was a thing. I really thought it ended at 18 months. That was her last regression, and I thought, all right, this is it. Okay. Last one. Comparatively, the 18 month one was a walk in the park. They also say that the four month sleep regression is a pain. However, Eleanor, I don't remember her going through the four month sleep regression, but at the same time, I mean, at that point she was still co-sleeping with us. So if she just wanted to nurse, she would just roll over and latch onto the boob. So I don't remember that, but I do remember the, I think it was the nine month, the 12 month and the 18 month sleep regression. Two year one is awful. I won't get into it, but just look it up because hers is like exactly what you would expect a two year sleep regression to be. Link, right. link, link that thing you sent me in the video. Oh, yeah. And it I is like exactly that. verbatim what we're going through. Yeah, and the sucky part is that she doesn't want me in the middle of the night. She only wants Josh. So Josh is the one waking up with her. I think the most she's woken up is six times before one o'clock in the morning one night 
And after that, we're like, we're just gonna bring her into bed with us because I can't handle it. Hopefully it will pass soon. I think we're into week two of it. Mm -hmm. I will walk. We're into week two. Um, they say it can last up to six weeks though, so. It's gonna last three weeks. <laughs> it's gonna last three weeks and that's ah! it. Say good night. Say good night to Sissy. I know. Fine. <laughs> Don't drop the baby. I got her. Sarah. Ooh, it's bright. It's bright. Okay, my battery died, so I had to quickly charge it for a little bit. I don't exactly remember what I was saying, though. Um, yeah, I don't remember what I was saying, but we will just... Make someone oh so tired. How is it that she's this big now? You can stop growing up. You can stop growing up. You are becoming quite the little chunky monkey baby. He's a chunky monkey baby. Oh, that was mama's yummy milk. Yeah. Are you talking? Are you I highly recommend getting the outlet if you are really nervous about having them sleep in their crib or bassinet. This has been a total game changer. I love it. I feel so comfortable leaving her in her crib at night. And I also feel so comfortable even when she is just in the bassinet right next to our bed. Um, it's just an extra layer of protection and having peace of mind. Yes, it's expensive, However, it is so worth it in my opinion. And Josh really likes it too. Cause you're just so little. Mm. You're so little. I can link it down below. We got ours from Target um, when she was about, I think she was less than two weeks old. It was like within the first week of her life, I went and I picked it up because she was, she was such a good sleeper that she really didn't need to like co-sleep with us. Um, Hi, oh my goodness, you look like, you look so cute. You look like a little abominable zoo, man. And she's been wearing it every night ever since we got it. And again, it's awesome. It's a nice thing to have for peace of mind. And I'll link it down below if you are wanting to get it. Hi. <laughs> Oh, it's like, look at this little chunk of monkey baby. Are you saying stuff? Are you telling good night stories? Are you telling good night stories? All right, I am going to uh, swaddle her, mm, nurse her, and do our bedtime prayers, and I will be right back. Oh my goodness. <sighs> So what is going on next? It is almost six o'clock. Like I said, it took a little bit longer to get Sarah down for bed. She's at that fun point of nursing where she is constantly whipping off and on boob. She's just very curious right now. <laughs> I am making dinner today. It is shepherd's pie. Josh is hanging out with Eleanor. Eleanor is going through this phase where she just wants Dada. She's becoming a daddy's girl and I think it's so cute, except in the middle of the night, 
when she only wants Josh and she doesn't want me at all. And that is going back to her two year sleep regression. I need to, I should link that article in the description box because I was curious what the heck was going on with her because she was sleeping great. And then all of a sudden I went back to work. My sister went back home after staying with us for two months. Uh, Josh got sick. I got sick. Eleanor got sick. And then Eleanor got hand, foot, and mouth. So it was just a lot for her. <laughs> and I thought maybe that could be it. But then after a few weeks, she should have been fine. Do I need to put oil in here? I almost forgot to put oil in my cast iron. Anyways, I was wondering, like, what the heck is going on? Is there such a thing as a two-year sleep regression? Sure enough, there is. And I sent the link to Josh, and it was exactly how Eleanor is acting right now. It was kind of scary. I joked that. I wonder if she saw Eleanor through the baby monitor, because that's how she's been acting lately. I was just telling Josh that I am very excited to start filming again. I feel like we are in a good place with a somewhat routine. Um, we're in this in a good place getting the hang of things with the kids, with the girls. Um, I've been back to work now for like exactly a month today. And there were some other things that I needed to do that were taking up my time when I got home at night. That is like somewhat done, but I don't need to really do. So I am excited. I am going to sit down tonight and I am going to write down some video ideas and kind of a create a schedule of what I want to do. Oh, I want to check. One thing I don't like doing is make mashed potatoes. I'm just gonna put you guys on it like a, what's it called? Speed time? I don't know. finished up cleaning the kitchen which you guys saw I really like to close the kitchen at the end of the night there's just something about waking up to a clean kitchen it's just perfect now Eleanor went up to bed um, I normally would show you guys that but I haven't been the one putting her to bed lately it's been Josh because again she's only been wanting Josh and just to make things easier and to eliminate or try to eliminate whining and having a meltdown Josh just goes up with her and does the whole nighttime routine with her. But it is 8.10 now. Eleanor goes to bed anywhere between 7.30 and 8. It depends on how well she napped during the day. Lately, she's been napping for like three hours. It's usually anywhere between two to three hours, which is awesome. Um, she had a bath tonight, which obviously I wasn't going to show you guys because, you know, privacy and when she's getting a bath at night it is 
Josh that does it. So like I said at the very beginning of this video, we have it down to each parent has a kid that they are responsible for when we come home from work and we start doing the nighttime routine. I have Sarah and I usually go in with her or I go into the bedroom if she starts crying at night um, before we go to bed. It's usually because she's in the middle of a transition between sleep cycles and her pacifier came out. Um, if I'm busy, Josh will go in there obviously, but because he's busy entertaining Eleanor, I will do it. Um, I cook dinner most nights and Josh is with Eleanor again because she really doesn't want me right now, which is okay because for the first like year and a half, almost two years of her life, she only wanted me and now she's wanting Dada. So I think it's really sweet. And after that, if she has a bath at night, which is usually every other night, she'll have a bath and then Josh will give it to her. Um, sometimes I will just, I have food in my teeth. Sometimes I will just take her in the shower with me to kill two birds with one stone. The other night, I think it was last night, Sarah needed a bath and I was like, well, I need a shower. So I brought her in there with me and quickly washed her little body. And then afterwards, um, Eleanor came and joined me. So gave her a quick shower and I was able to finally shower. So it was very convenient. I don't know why I don't do it more often. I think I need to start doing that because it's just a lot easier than having to fill up the sink in the kitchen and take out Sarah's bath and give her a bath and then you fill up the tub for Eleanor. It's just a, it's a lot easier. And if I'm able to do it, then I'm going to do it. And now I am going to clean up and have a little bit of me time before I go to bed. I have been exhausted the last few nights or last few days. Yeah, I'm just gonna clean up the toys that Eleanor played with. Usually I have her clean them up at the end of the night, but it was already getting late and she needed to go to bed. Sometimes we will put her to bed when she is, starts asking for the night, um, oops, sorry. She will let us know that she is ready for Nana. She'll go up to the door leading to upstairs and she'll tell us Nana, Nana. And that's what we were doing. And ever since her sleep regression, she's just been fighting bedtime. Not hardcore fighting, but she just doesn't let us know when she wants to go to bed anymore. So we actually have to implement a bedtime. And that is it, you guys. It may not seem like a lot on camera but it is the evening is a huge blur which i like it because i like to be busy but at the end of the night when josh and i finally sit down on the couch once the girls are in bed and we take a breath it's like hooey it was a lot <gasps> But my plans for the night are just to take a shower. Um, I need to read my Bible. And I got a book from Amazon last week that I have yet to start reading because life. I feel like that is just my excuse for everything is life happened. <laughs> um, and I think Josh is going to do, I think he said some gaming he wanted to do. I can't remember. He told me earlier in the day and I just forgot. And that is it. It's going to be a super chill night. Both of us are really tired. Josh is exhausted because again, he's been the one waking up with Eleanor at night. And then, oh, I wanted to write a few things, a few ideas down for videos. But that is it, you guys. I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded anything. It's been like four months, I think which is so unacceptable. But again, I had some personal stuff I had to do when I was working on and the stuff was a, it was a time restraint. So I had to get it done, <sighs> but I'm excited. I'm excited because I feel like filming and editing, it's something for me, even if I'm not as consistent with it as I would like to be, it is something that I enjoy doing it. I'm looking forward to going back to it. 
but I've done enough rambling. This video was not a catch-up video. This video was just a quick nighttime routine with two kids two years old and under. It was busy. It was go, 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 but it was good. I will see you guys next time. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will definitely link the outlet, um, the monitor, the foot monitor. We didn't get the camera. We don't have the camera because I heard horrible things. I just got the outlet sock. That's what it's called, the outlet sock. And I will try to find that article on the two-year two -year sleep regression. Can you tell it's the end of the night? Because I am struggling even more so with talking. <sighs> Alright. I will see you guys next time. Bye.